Hello my lovely Sagittarius, this is going to be your full moon in Sagittarius reading. So now that this full moon is in your sign, you are probably going to be the one feeling this energy most heavy. Because there is four signs that's really, you know, feeling this full moon in Sagittarius and that is Capricorn, Libra, Aries, and obviously you. So if you have one of those signs in your chart you might also want to check them out. But you can have Sagittarius wherever in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. This is going to be a mix between love and career, whatever comes out. I have already done a little channeling for you guys, so there is already a lot of information for you, which obviously, now this is your full moon, you know, it makes sense why it, so many things came up. But one thing I will say is that I got this energy of that there, there might be someone who is going to try to take advantage of you or your ideas. And I did hear advantage of your kindness. And with this Sagittarius energy, you are a very open sign. You are one of the most open signs of all zodiac. And you do want to help a lot. You do want to guide the way for people. But sometimes, you know, you do end up being ghosted or you do end up being hurt in the end. So it is something you need to balance out, no matter where you have Sagittarius. I just saw tree, tree, tree. If it's in your Venus, you, it might happen in love a lot. If it's advising, it might be from people around you. It might be because people see you for who you are, or they see what it is that you have. If it's your moon, I do feel it's on a very deep emotional level. So just be, you know, be mindful of that because that was the first thing that I picked up on. Now that you are also a sign of freedom, you do need freedom in and around people. So don't give too much. It's okay to be kind, obviously, but be careful with your kindness. I do feel that is a big thing here, especially with this new moon energy being around you because it is like you are shining up, you are lighting up. And when I did a little shuffle for you, two cards jumped out and I should still have them here. Yeah, Aquarius uh, and Gemini. So the star and the lovers. So some of you guys are being in alignment with love, being, being in alignment with your dreams and desires. So it's actually a very powerful season for you, I heard. So it's a powerful season. June is going to be very powerful for you. People are going to see that because they're going to see you shine up. So again, be careful who you trust and who you give your time and ideas to. But what this full moon is going to bring you is the sight. Like for you to see clearly in a lot of situations in your life. This can be on a spiritual level, emotional level, or just in general in your life with career, love. It's something with emotional ties. But there might be some kind of argument that will be, you know, worth your will. It's a strange way of saying it, but I guess it makes sense for some of you guys. But it's going to put things back into place so that things are, you know, more stable in your life. So. With that, it's obviously also going to push the, you know, the wrong people out of your life who's not going to be a part of your new journey. Obviously, if you're watching for a Sagittarius, that is what's going to happen with the person that you're dealing with. I do see that a lot of you guys are going to receive gifts and a lot of things popped up when I tapped into this. So, you know, now that this is for a lot of different people, there's a lot of different gifts for you. But I did see a ring, I did see roses, I did see crystals, but that was something with a vision. So some of you guys might receive some kind of crystals in a vision or you might receive some kind of gift when it comes to spiritual. The last thing was something made out of three elements. That was the thing that I, that I heard, I didn't see it. So someone out there is going to receive something that's made out of, out of three elements might also see these signs, so there is going to be a lot of synchronicities, there's going to be a lot of 
things opening up for you for you to be guided in the right direction but again there's so many things um, you know that came in when I tapped into your energy because the next thing I saw was that someone out there is going to receive applause or you're going to receive a lot of likes on something that you post this can be a blog post, this can be an Instagram, Facebook um, this can be wherever there's something maybe with a queue outside a store or something like that but you're going to you know be recognized for something I also see a lot of you guys are going to decorate your home some of you guys have had your eyes on a dream house you're going to be in alignment with that dream so again that's also why it's, uh, it's very important that you tap into that energy that you don't let your dreams be stopped by someone else who might see you for your ability, someone who might want to steal something from you. And the last two things, now that you got those two cards, is obviously that someone out there is going to be moved into someone that you are des destined to be together with. So that is a soulmate or twin flame. And luck is going to be on your side now. So make sure to tap into this energy but before we just jump into it i am going to take a card for this like someone who might take advantage of you i do want to see what i can get with that i just saw the card shine your light so you do need to shine your light be seen again it's very important to be seen what can i get for sagittarius with Someone trying to steal something. Be patient. Live life to the fullest, so don't be stopped. Raise your vibration. So obviously, you do need to be patient with what you are manifesting. Live your life to the fullest. Don't stop yourself. Don't let anyone stop you from going after your dreams. And raise your vibration. That is how you are going to manifest. But it's also very important for you to be very patient with this. And I know that Sagittarius, you're not, you know, the most patient of all signs. Because you do love to just go out there. But if someone is trying to steal something, now that we asked about that, be patient with yourself in this. And just live your life. Don't let anyone stop you. Rise above their energy. But let's take an energy card for you and see what we can get for Sagittarius. But a lot of magical things are coming for you. Someone who you are destined to be together with, a dream house. Luck in many ways. Recognition. What is the card for Sagittarius? Oh, it's just about to say, say Gemini. <laughs> so some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini. Softly, softly in the tender touch. I mean, the full moon does, you know, tend to be, you know, emotional for Sagittarius, especially this one, so you might feel a little emotional. Um, when we have the full moon but I do feel it's because that you are really activating your crown chakra and she does have a lot of jewelry or something up here with the crown chakra so some of you guys might now that we have this with the crystal because she does wear some kind of crystal so maybe some of you guys are going to receive a crystal that's going to actually help you when it comes to your crown chakra when it comes to activating your dreams I just saw 5-5 five five. but I do feel a lot of you guys are letting go of what's no longer serving you but be, be gentle with yourself I do feel it's very important to be gentle with yourself in this time with this full moon she does have this flower I can't remember is that the what is it called? On top of the crown chakra. Um, the lotus? Is that what it's called? It's important that you are being yourself. Don't let anyone break you. Don't let anyone put in your mind that you're weak because you're not. 
it's a soft pink, so I do feel that someone out there might feel fragile. You might feel tender. You might feel like someone is just going to push you a little bit and then you're going to break down. So again, be strong also if someone is going to say something to you. Do not let anyone break you. That is the major message here. I am going to take three cards for you. So we have overall energy for what's going to come into your life with this magical full moon in Sagittarius. So again, take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the rolls. For some of you guys, this is just going to be a little piece that's going to resonate with you. Yeah, we do have someone who's sneaky. Be aware of that. Someone might steal ideas, steal some kind of letter, steal something that's been written. Yeah. 7-7. Seven, seven. Someone is trying to steal your ideas here. It might be someone that you are talking with over the phone. Someone that you are... Um, something with letters, something with um, online communication, because this is all about like phone communication, it's all about um, text messages, so please be aware of someone who might be a little sneaky. I do also feel some of you guys are going to let go of a third party situation, or you're going to let go or push out someone who's in between you and whatever it is that you're going after. This can also be in love. But something is delayed, some kind of message is being held away from you. Something is not being delivered. Or it's because of someone is trying to steal someone's idea or something that's been written, something that's been set over the phone, t in a text message, in a mail. So be a little careful with that. But someone is trying to deliver something. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with someone who's been blocked from you, or someone that you blocked, or someone that blocked you, but the message is not coming true. Be a little careful. I do have this um, feeling that someone out there is like, I know what this is about, I know who this is. But let's see what else we can get for you. So I am just going to put the cards out. We do have one here. I mean, there is this sneaky energy here. You guys cannot see anything. And also now the camera keeps being like out of focus. It's always a sign when it does that, so pay attention to when it does that, because sometimes it's like a message from your spirit guides. Well, let's see, what is the... Man, someone is really trying to steal something. Camera, would you please <laughs> work with us today? What is the message for Sagittarius? Okay. <laughs> hmm. I do feel someone is trying to steal someone's idea. Steal someone's man. It's very like... Someone out there really needs to be careful with that. Ooh, so you have had the lovers two times now. This might also be something that's around the person that you're dealing with. Your soul made a trend flame. Someone is trying to steal something or delaying something because there is delay. I have the feeling that someone might, you know, someone wants to move out of a house because we do have the energy of a new house or someone wants to move to another country but something is being delayed but they can move into what they want to move into there needs to be some kind of heartbreak here let's see what else we can get for you so now I just take whatever I am guided to take and then let's look into it. You definitely have to be careful with someone who's trying, again, someone who's trying to steal your ideas. <sighs> Who is this person? You definitely need to take some personal downtime because someone is dealing with some heavy energy. You are like you're sick and tired of defending something. 
it is important for someone here to allow your body to fully recover. This can be energy wise, but this can also be because that you have been sick recently. But you do need to allow yourself to recover. So you guys might have you know, like you know now that it starts, it might be that you are too much in your mind about career or about how things are going to move forward. Some of you guys need to take a break when it comes to a decision. Some of you guys are dealing with anxiety or something with confidence. But again, now that the Knight of Wands is you know, reversed underneath the lovers, we do have delays, obviously. This can be because of that we can't travel. But the overall energy here is that you are ready to move on, to travel somewhere, but you might not feel completely ready. And it might be because of anxiety for, for something, it might be because of the confidence, or it might be because of some kind of illness that you still have to recover from. Obviously this can be you or the person that you're dealing with. Some of you guys might even be dealing with a Gemini who needs to let go of a Sagittarius. You might be a Gemini who needs to let go of a Sagittarius or letting go of a Scorpio. But it might also just be the, this like control that someone, like someone is lacking confidence when, you know, it comes to moving towards some something in your life or someone. You need to push through, I heard, when it comes to your dreams. Don't back down, no matter what happened. But something is trying to come true to you, some kind of message. This can be on a spiritual level, but this can also be like like a letter, a text message, a mail. But something is not being delayed, maybe because of someone, or because of some kind of doubt, or because of someone is trying to twist something twist your mind, like trying to make you believe something else. You might be very frustrated about that there is delays to your plans, like you don't feel like you can really process because of the delays that's happening. Like you feel stuck, or someone feels stuck. Someone is having a hard time expressing feelings, or expressing when it comes to creativity. And it might be because of there's someone who is always trying to be like, well, you can do it this way, or what if you do it this way? This can be a friend, this can be family, this can be mind, like in your mind, but now that it's wands, I do feel that it's the outside. That someone is like trying to push through something and you're like, well, what if I want to do it this way? This can also be the person that you are dealing with, with obviously. But they are very frustrated. Someone is very frustrated about the process of something. And someone is trying to, to stand in the way for someone's happiness or someone's abundance. And again, it's funny because we do have the Rider reversed here. And we have the, the Knight of Swords here. And then we have this anxiety. So again, it's the same circle of a message that not being delivered because of a mental block or because of someone. Someone is telling lies, but there is this like you. I do feel that when it comes to a a message or when it comes to something that's happening, you might feel that like someone is backstabbing you. And it was this the, like this channeled message that I got from the beginning, so it's going to actually push you out of your comfort zone. It's going to make you make it a, a new direction or take a stand in something. And some of you guys might not feel ready for it, but you are. Some of you guys, I will say, also with this combination, be careful with signing contracts or um, something with a message or paper, paperwork, something something that might, you know, it's it has this feeling of the universe is trying to make you understand that's not the right way, you, you, you know, if you do it this way, it's going to end up in backstabbing or more suffering. So be careful with being too fast here. There is a new beginning, but you are making it a little bit harder for yourself. Letting go of old job, letting go of old project. You do need to let go of something here. There might be butterflies, but there is a message that is trying to come true. Let's see. 
if we can get more information about this message what is in the text message what's in the mail what is this about what is this text message or mail about there was something that oh you will receive a gift we spoke about that in the beginning time to go out and have fun reconciliation it makes sense with this like reconciliation with 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 travel because you do have the eight of wands here so you will travel again and you will receive something but be careful of that someone is making sure that you don't receive this message if you have a ex-boyfriend or if you have a boyfriend a wife or a girlfriend husband who's like jealous be careful that they are not blocking someone or making sure that someone else is not receiving something july you might travel in july or this message might be something about july yes i do feel that is um yeah what is the message about what's in this letter or message to the person watching what is the key ingredients I heard? Happiness, career, and we do have movement again. So it might be something with your career or something with business, something with projects. But Sagittarius, I do feel this is going to be it. Be careful with this. If some of you guys are in need of a private reading, all information is down below. Let me know if this resonated. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.